In this video, we're going to add an attribute node. Now, in the last two videos, we've added HTML element nodes, and we've added text nodes, of course. But there is a third big one, and I like to call these the big three. Element nodes, text nodes, and attribute nodes. So again, in this video, we're going to add an attribute node. Now, if we click on this button, here are the two elements we've created, along with the text node. So what we want to do is add a attribute node to this paragraph that we've added here. And so what we want to do is let's just do something simple. We'll just change the text to blue. We're not really interested in the CSS styling that we're going to be adding. We're just interested in the concept of adding an attribute node. So let's first just create a little CSS rule for this, create an ID selector in our CSS code so that when we do add our attribute node, this will be changed automatically. So let's go ahead and flip to our style sheet and we'll just come down here and I've already typed out the code and pretty simple here right you know by now that with an ID selector we use the pound sign and we're just gonna call this test and we're just gonna change the color of that text to dark blue okay so let's head over to our JavaScript code and the good thing is we've already created the element right here right so we don't have to use a get elements by tag because we've already got our paragraph element, right? So we can just reuse this element object a little bit later. So again, we've created the element, we've created the text node, and right down here, we're gonna add the attribute. So I'll just copy and paste the first line here and explain it. So we're gonna create a variable called p attribute, and we're going to use, of course, the document object, and here is the new method, create attribute and that will give us our attribute node. Now right here, you can put any type of HTML attribute you want here. We could create a, a source attribute, we could create an href attribute, we could create a language attribute. Any HTML attribute we want to create, we just call it by its regular name. And so if it was a class, we would put class here. But since we're creating ID, all we have to do is put an ID here. That's it, that's all that gets passed into this method. Now what we want to do is assign a value to this ID. And of course we want to use the value that we placed in our CSS style sheet, which of course was test. That's going to be the name of our ID. So we do that by using the value property and I'll show you that right now. So I'll just copy and paste this in here. So we've got our object now. And so value is just a property that we can use to set the value, pretty simple, to test. And so again, that's fairly easy to understand. Now what we need to do is reuse our element object, right? So we're going to type in element and then we use the set attribute node method. And we're just gonna pass in our P attribute object that holds our ID of test. So we'll just put that right in here. And there we go. So let's go ahead and save everything up and we'll go ahead and run our web page. And let's see what we get here. And there you go. We created our paragraph element and it now has an attribute node. And of course, using that ID in CSS, we set the text to blue. Now, again, if we wanted to grab one of these existing paragraphs, we would probably use the method get elements by tag or something like that, and then add an ID to that tag. But like I said, we didn't have to because we already created the paragraph node in the element object. So we could just reuse that. Now, one question you might be asking, so let's close this out and go back to the JavaScript code. You might be asking, well, wait a minute now. You created an element up here and then you appended the child. And you created a text node up here and you appended the child. We created an attribute node with this method and you, you didn't append the child. Why didn't you do that? You set the attribute node. And there is a reason for that. And I was confused by this for a little while until I was unconfused. Let's just pull up the document object model representation of this web page. And if you take a look at that, here's all of our H1, H2s, paragraphs. And here's the last one, the paragraph node that we created along with the text node. And here's the attribute node. Now, the reason we didn't use the append child is because the attribute node is technically not a child. It's actually part of the element. So when you see these document object models, you'll always see the attribute sideways to the HTML element. That's because it's part of it. An HTML attribute is technically not a child of the paragraph element. Again, it is part of it. So that's why we didn't use the append child. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.